Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another packing video for you. I am going to attend the SGS New York Player Conference this weekend in Times Square, hosted by Diana Velasquez at Sugary Girl Shop. And this packing video is going to be a little different than the Go Wild packing video you might have seen because for two reasons. One, I'm going to be gone for 48 hours, so we don't need that much stuff. And two, I'm flying JetBlue and I don't want to pay for extra luggage, so everything, all my personal stuff fits into this book bag and then this um, carry-on size piece of luggage is going to be virtually empty on the way down and full of swag and whatnot on the way back. So let's get right into this. This should be really quick because there's not that much. Okay, so this is the large Vera Bradley um, backpack that I got at the outlet. And start at the outside on the sides. There's a pair of socks to wear through secu uh, airport security because feet are gross. A pack of Clark's wipes to wipe down every surface you come in contact with on the plane, the seat, the handle, the armrest, the buckle, the window, just everything gets wiped down. And then in here I've got some uh, like Walmart bags so that you can put that into the um, the back of the seat pocket because that never gets cleaned and that's just gross. Okay, so that's everything in there. And then this has a bunch of pockets. I'm not actually using them right now. Everything is in the main compartment. And you see it's pretty full. Here is my pencil case from Chrissy Ann Designs. I might have a pen. Sorry, I left my pen loaning pen at home. And you can see it's it's not full at all. It just has a few pens in there. Then I have my New York or my travel purse. It's crossbody. I got it on Amazon from Travelon. It's locking. It's got um, some security some theft protection, and there's a wallet. There is a shopping bag, an uh, EC shopping bag, reusable. And then also in here I have swaps, which I'll do another video on what I'm bringing to swap and what I'm bringing for table makeups. Okay, so then I've got this little cute little bag that I got in a planners and non box and in here I've got cough drops, some Advil, um, some breath mints, just stuff to to keep the mouth busy. My electronic storage pouch. This has my charger, a cable, a battery backup for my phone. Three one one. So this has everything, all of my liquids. You're allowed one, one quart bag, which this came from Sephora and it is TSA approved. And you're allowed three ounces of liquid. Um, so in here I've got lipstick, mascara, moisturizer, toothpaste. Aura Gel, uh, Evian Spray Mist for to use on the plane because the plane gets really dry and this is great to refresh the face and the eyes. And then I've got Zycam and uh, Vitamin B12, some hair gel. Uh, some more liquid makeup and some eye drops. All under three ounces. 
all fits very easily, not even packing it fancy, in the bag. What you'll notice is I don't have shampoo or conditioner in here because I'll just use what the hotel has for a night. Then I've got a clear bag and these are, this is medicine and toilet, other toiletries that aren't in my main toiletry bag. So for example, I have a couple of inhalers. I have say yes to cucumbers again for being refreshed. The emergency toilet paper. You never know when you're going to be in a public place and not have toilet paper. Um, and then I also have in here nail files, a couple of inhalers, and a pouch with um, some medicine. Like there's Benadryl and some cough medicine, that kind of thing. Then I have, I always overpack snacks. Always, always, always. And so I force myself to limit myself to this tiny, tiny little pouch. There's two granola bars, some protein balls, and some nuts in here. And that's it. Because I'm in New York, and it's not like there's not stores everywhere. Um, this has feminine hygiene. And then my toiletry case. This case, I love it. It came from Clinique. And what's wonderful about it is my toothbrush and my wet comb fit in here. So there's an eye uh, glass cleaner, travel size deodorant floss, makeup, makeup brush, travel razor, q-tips, uh, eyeliner. Now, if your eyeliner is liquid, it goes in the 311 bag. And uh, eyeshadow palette, my toothbrush, oh, and a tiny little pouch with jewelry. And safety pins, because you never know. No, no wardrobe malfunctions here. And then I have my planner. So I've got this little Ipsy pouch that I got a few years ago. Um, and I have a pocket-sized planner. It's Sugary Gal Shop. Um, and there's... Lady D in dressed as a Statue of Liberty. It's really, really cute. And I got it just for this conference, really. Um, the little felty came from Planners Anon, and I'll have that set up to take notes, and I'll have all my travel information just for the conference. And then, what else do I have in here? I have, okay, so this is all my clothes. There's a dress, shorts, uh, two t-shirts, some underwear, a bra, and another pair of socks. I'm going to be there for 48 hours. This is actually more than I need. And then, last but not least, is the book I'm currently reading. Because even though the flight's only an hour, hour 20, I need something to read. And that's it. And again, all of this fits in this bag and I have all of this room for swag. This is holding the my table mate gifts and I won't be coming home with it so it doesn't count. <laughs> um, but they're little pouches. It says oh it's happening and I will do a video on what's in the pouch and what my table mate gifts are because I really need to do that top down and not face on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if I'm going to see you in New York City in a week and I will talk to you all later. Thanks.